A four and a half day trial in a lawsuit against the Idaho Department of Correction wrapped up today. But CBS 2 Scott Logan is here to tell us that we should not expect a quick ruling from the judge. He's live in studio. The ACLU and a University of Idaho law professor are suing the Idaho Department of Correction for access to the expiration dates of the drugs used in lethal injection executions and the names of the companies that supplied them. The original request for that information dates back to 2017. Both sides presented closing arguments this morning in state district court. The state, which has the burden of proof in this case, argues that publicly releasing this information would jeopardize the ability to carry out future executions by lethal injection, which is the only form of capital punishment legal in Idaho. Attorneys for the state say that's because the dwindling number of companies now supplying those drugs would dry up in the face of anticipated public boycotts. The ACLU maintains this public records request is essentially a request for public reassurance that the law was carried out legally and humanely in the 2011 execution of Paul Ezra Rhodes and the 2012 execution of Richard Levitt. The ACLU also claims the Department of Correction acted in bad faith and only made many of the documents available after a lawsuit was filed. Fourth District Judge Lynn Norton said she will begin deliberating on this case February 13th and will issue a written ruling sometime later on and she has a lot of documents and testimony to review. Live in the studio, Scott Logan, CBS 2 News.